Hey guys, I wanted to show you a quick, cool pop flash you can do on cache, and it is going to be for a main. So, at a main, if we just take a look, a quick look at it, what we'll notice is that there's this garage opening. So, a good pop flash will be one that explodes just outside the opening, which will get anyone at this right angle. But also, we'll want it to go as high as possible to get anyone who's in the back behind the box and everything like that. So we want it to explode as close to, I guess, this position as possible. Now, it's what you have to notice is, or what you have to know, is that anyone who's crouched here will not get flash from any flashbang you throw at him. He will not get blind from. Reason being, that's th that's the ceiling of the garage door opening. So if the person's in this position here, there's no flash that's going to get him. It's just impossible. So you have to know that this guy is not going to get flashed, and if he's crouched here, it's not going to get him. But if he's standing here, or if anyone's back here, this flash will get them. What I do on this flash, I'll come over to this back wall by CT. I'll aim at this brown shit that's on the wall by the right side of this entrance. I'll go to the white band that goes horizontal above it, and just to the right of the brown shit on the horizontal bit. When I throw this flashbang, it will come it will just narrowly dodge the ceiling here and it'll come in and explode relatively close to a main so that nobody will be able to react to it at all. Now, you could try to maybe get a little bit higher just so that it will go in and clear in at a little bit better of an angle, but careful, you don't want to get too high because if you go too high, again, you're just going to hit the roof and well, then it's defunct. So off that flash, what you'll want to do is you want to have someone close who's going to push off of it to utilize it. He's going to call for the flash, it's going to pop, he's going to turn the corner, kill anyone who's close, and then if like the flash effect is wearing off the enemies, he's going to hide, he's going to ask for another one, you're going to get another one off, and then he's going to re-peek. Now, this is a pretty exposed area. If I'm a terrorist and I peek out, you're just standing there with a flash out, so that's no good. So the two times that I'll use that flashbang is one, at the start of the round, where I'll send my teammate to the forklift, Tell him, listen for noise, if you hear them, I'll flash for you, just call for the flash. Or two, if A main is smoked out, and my teammate is going to push through the smoke, so he'll come here, he'll call for the flash, and he'll push through the smoke with the flash. Those are the two times that I'd use it. Otherwise, what I'd do is I'd come along this back wall here, anywhere along the back wall, as long as you're aiming at the green panels, the flash will go inside A main, and it'll explode at a pretty decent point. So again, this brown shit on the wall, that's close to the right side of the garage, so like over here is where the garage is, is ended. So I'll want to make sure that I'm only a little bit to the right of this brown shit on the wall, wherever I am, so that the flash will go inside me. And anywhere along this back wall here, if you're aiming at the green panels, or even a little bit higher, so like you could aim like in the middle of the brown shit for example, and the flash will actually come inside, but it Again, it's going a little deep. So what I like to do is I like to just come here and aim it just at the top of the green panels and have it go in and flash anyone who's inside of main. I hope these flashes help. Until next time, peace.